case, I'm going to um, <coughs> do a bit of a, a tiny little project, and I'm actually going to um, hook up the um, uh, switch the Brincy uh, incubator from uh, 120 volt to 12 volt. Um, out of the box, the uh, transformer on it uh, is a 12 volt uh, transformer. It outputs 12 volt, takes in 120, outputs uh, 12 volts at 1.5 amps. So I'm actually going to, uh, <clears throat> in my 1977 bowler camper, I'm going to hook up my DC socket here, and I'm actually going to hook it on through, I'm going to hook it through my uh, charge controller, because what I can do if it's through the charge controller, is that I can actually see uh, the draw. Um, so right now I've got a couple LED lights on, interior lights, it's drawing uh, 0.1 amp. So um, that affords me the ability to really monitor well what the uh, incubator is doing, how much power it's drawing, and it allows the charge controller to um, manage the usage as well. If the uh, if the voltage gets down too low, the charge controller will uh, turn off the uh, the power, basically saving the battery, saving some life in it. So I'm going to use I have this old scrap. Um, two-ended uh, male male uh, 12 volt socket length I don't know what this came from from but I'm gonna basically cut one end off and use one of them and I'm gonna uh, plug this into <coughs> basically gonna cut off the uh, factory Brentsy uh, transformer which like I say is a uh, 12 volt outputs 12 volts at 1.5 amps and it takes in 120 volts anywhere between 100 and 240 volts um, at uh, 0.45 amps max it says so I should just be able to basically cut this right in the middle and um, put this 12 volt adapter on it and then plug this right into my uh, my charge controller my uh, DC plug here which I'll hook up and uh, we should be away so I'll put it on fast forward now and you can watch me work here Now this is the uh, step where I put uh, I'll put the uh, 12 volt DC adapter in the plug here, and now I'm gonna find out if we've got uh, the polarity correct in here. So I'll put this down here. I had this guy set to volts, and it should be positive in the center, negative on the outside, and we are good. 12.83 volts, so that is perfect. So I can plug this into the incubator. We'll see how it goes. All right. Let's slide this over here. And you are seeing it live. We will now see if this is going to fire up and work. Here we go. So far, so good. Did it start up routine? Now it's warning me that uh, there's been a power loss, which there has been. To get rid of that, you just press the OK and hold down for an extra second. P goes away, and it's going to start warming up to 37.5 again. So, my next plans here are, it's a bit of a mess as you can see, but I uh, got that working, so my next plans are going to be to, uh, I'm going to mount the 12 volt uh, socket maybe right down here, and uh, then I'll have uh, kind of permanent, always, you know, always ready access to my uh, 12 volt socket, and then on top of that I've got my... This is my Amazon, I think I got it off Amazon, maybe eBay. This is my uh, USB charge port, 
and I'll get that guy plugged in as well. But I'll, I need a few more splice parts so that I can tap into the 12 volt. Um, but the beauty thing here is now that I can go over here <coughs> and now I can actually see that I am drawing 1.6 amps. Now if I were to shut this off, shut the lights off, it would shut my interior lights off and it would shut the Brincy down because now the charge controller is controlling the Brincy completely. Um, but that's okay. What I can do is just manually turn these guys off, which you're supposed to do anyways. And uh, then we'll look at the power draw here. See what it goes down to. 1.5 amps is what it, it what the uh, the transformer says it uses. This is uh, migrating down. Now it's got the heater on because I just had the top. Uh, I just had it unplugged for a while, so it was cooling. Uh, but 1.3 amps, yeah, it'll be a little bit more um, efficient than. I guess I could actually go to the draw here. The, the light bulb is the actual draw out of the charge controller as opposed to um, this this uh, value here is how much it's drawing in from the solar panels. <clears throat> so yeah, the actual draw is 1.4 amps, so that's not bad. And uh, that will be more efficient than my transformer, which I just pulled off. This uh, voids the Brincy warranty, I'm sure. But uh, I did my tests with the voltmeter and everything seems good. So... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, that was just a short little one to show you a uh, conversion of the uh, Brincy uh, Mini Advanced Incubator over to uh, Pure 12 Volt um, for an off-grid uh, solar-powered situation. And uh, it's working great. So I'm going to uh, put the lid on, clean up the table here and all my electronic bits, and uh, I'll uh, give you a report in the next couple of days how it's doing. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.